Welcome to Tips for Clips. Today in just 4 minutes I'll show you how to zero gap any clippers or trimmers. So zero gap as you can see means having the front blade and the back blade flush together at the same level when it's in the short setting, this closed lever setting. So all you'll need to do this is a screwdriver, some kind of brush, and possibly some barber oil if you need. I'm taking off the screws here. Make sure that the blade doesn't fall off as you're doing this, so take it off carefully. And when I take it off here, you're going to notice some previous haircuts. It's dirty, it has some hair. That's what you're going to need the brush for. Also pay attention to how you're taking off each blade so that you can put it back in the same position. So I'm paying close attention to the orientation of each blade. And now I'm just going to brush off all the excess hair. And it's normal for any machine to look like this when you take it off. From a few haircuts, it'll just get jammed in there. So it's good to do this every so often to keep your machine running as smooth as possible. And of course, clean off the blades as well. It's good to add some kind of barber oil. You can add it right here, or you can add it right here. I'm not going to do it right now for simplicity's sake. Uh, but it's just a simple step that you can add in between to keep the blades running smooth against each other. Now we're just going to go ahead and put the blades back as they were. And notice how I'm putting it back. The curved side here for this lower blade is on the bottom. I'm going to turn it over, the curved side is on the bottom. And just kind of press it into place there. And then I'm going to take the bigger blade and the curved part is on top. And you just match it up with the same holes as before. Place the screws in there, make sure you're not dropping your blade, dropping anything, you don't want to risk chipping anything. And at this point, you don't have to worry about making the blades too precisely aligned. And you're just gonna put the screws back into place. Here you want to make sure don't screw the screws on too tightly here. Give yourself maybe medium tension so that you're able to maneuver the top blade a little bit because this is the whole point of zero gapping. You want to make sure the blades are in the exact position you want. So here's where the actual zero gapping comes in. You're going to want to make sure that when it's in a short position that the blades are touching each other but that the upper blade is a little bit further than the lower blade. The lower blade is sharper so if that lower blade comes further up than the upper blade, then you risk cutting your client as you cut his or her hair. So you want to make sure that the top blade is just a cinch higher than the lower blade. Now I'm going to close it. I'm going to show you what happens when I don't keep my hand at the top. You see it just turned a little bit. So now you see I don't have a straight blade. So this whole point is to show you how to actually zero gap it and keep it precise and straight. So I loosened it up again. What you want to do, make sure it's straight and keep your hands on the outside. See my two fingers? It's keeping it straight as I tighten up the screws again. And make sure the lever is closed when you're doing this because it has to be flush. The blades have to be flush when you're in the closed lever setting, the short position, just like that. And there you have it. That's all it takes. You could do this on any clipper, any trimmer. It's that simple. It's really one of those things people make it sound like a big deal because it's important for it to be zero gap so that you can be intentional and deliberate with the exact length that you're using when you're cutting someone's hair, but it's not that difficult. Here's some of my other videos. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks to all those who already have, and I'll see you at the next video.